hello welcome back for another great chair workout today we're going to be working on total body strength and toning i have a pair of hand weights underneath my chair for the upper body and if you would like you can include a band for extra work for those legs everything is optional get set up with what you need for today's workout and we're going to get started right now We're gonna warm it up here nice and easy with a light walk. We're gonna start off this workout with some moderate to low intensity, of course, low impact cardio. Make sure that we get into more of a fat and calorie burning zone. Then we will get the band if you're using that, the weights if you're using those, and work on that total body strength, adding some muscle, Getting them all toned up, but getting them nice and strong. Great job here. We'll take one foot forward, opposite arm reaches ahead, making a little bit bigger movement here. Tap it out, great job. Move through the core. Make sure that you're using those core muscles for this movement, not the low back. Feel work through the abs. Stay out of that low back here today. Lots of modifications throughout this workout or you are welcome to find your own. I always suggest a slower, smaller movement to start. If that doesn't alleviate any tension within the exercise, then substitute something else in that works better for you. Bring those hands in here. Let's take it out one leg at a time. Body should be warming up. You should feel the heart rate increasing a little bit here. Let's take this to a full jumping jack here. You can keep one arm, one leg at a time here, whatever works for you. Find the level that challenges you but keeps you safe and comfortable. Feel those arms warming up. I feel the shoulders here. Back. To our march a little bit faster pace this time great job move those arms bend those fingers thumbs up towards the shoulders one at a time or both great job Hands reach up overhead. We're going to bend those elbows back. Give me a kick here. Feel the backs of the arms working. You can take them further forward if you'd like. Watch out for the head. No bumping into anything here. Great, a few more here. Feel the backs of the arms working. Take them down to the sides, extend it out. Same kick here. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Work through the backs of those arms. Everything we're working here in our warm up will also be working with the weights. So save just a little bit of energy here. Bring it in, torso rotations side to side great job again feel work coming from the core not the low back we want we want to avoid any work in that low back here today keep it safe option here to add a knee up that's up to you a little bit bigger in the core One more set, right 
and left. Bring it on down, give it a good shake. Everything should be warmed up, ready to go. If you are using a band, step into that first. Take your time here. Up around the thighs, above the knees. You wanna give yourself a little bit of clearance from the kneecap, we don't wanna pull on the joint. And then if you are working with dumbbells, go ahead and grab those. Weights will come down to the sides. We'll start here with a nice, easy bicep curl. Little bit of a rotation through those hands. Don't worry, we'll get into those legs here soon. Good, focus on these bicep muscles. Keep those elbows in close to the sides. And if you would like here, you can give me a toe raise to match. Just warming up through the feet and the ankles. We need them nice and strong too. Weights, we'll, we'll finish this one here. We'll come to the tops of the thighs. Let's take a calf raise. We are not standing. I want you to push against that band just a little bit so we don't want it pulling you in. I want you pushing it out. Extra weight from the dumbbells if you're using those. Lifting to the ball of the foot. Spread those toes open in the shoes here. We wanna encourage a nice toe spread for really strong feet. Forcing the arches of the feet to work just a little bit. Stay nice and strong. Great. Strong feet, strong ankles. Really important. Beautiful. Few more here. Let's go ahead here. And we're gonna take those weights out to the sides. Give me a little pulse here. And turn the elbows forward just slightly. Pulse, keep the shoulders out of the ears, nice and tall. Think about lifting the elbows rather than lifting the hand and stay out of this neck area. Work from here, work from the shoulders. Great job. Good, core muscles are gonna have to work to stabilize you here, so I don't want you bouncing from the rib cage. Hold those weights here nice and low. Step those feet out one at a time. When the arms get tired, and they should get tired, go ahead, bring them in. But stay here, stay here if you can. Maybe even little pulses, that's up to you. Push against the band, return slow, smooth and steady. Let's go four more here with the hands, if you can. Tuck them in, keep stepping those legs. Good. Four more here. And let's go back, bicep curl, lift the toes. You're not gonna be able to lift them very high. That's okay, you can even just give me a toe tap. You'd rather double it up in there, double time for the feet. Plenty of work here, really work from those biceps. Great job. few more to go. And right here, great job. Wiggle out those arms a little bit, drop them on down, send those elbows forward, lift and step out. We're gonna combine these two together here. We'll take it to a pulse in just a minute.
good. So we're switching on these ones up just a little bit. We'll get to those calf raises here in a second. I promise I didn't forget. Good. Arms, legs working hard, core working to stabilize you. So minimize movement through the trunk of the body. Last set here. I know I feel those shoulders too. We got right into it. Take those dumbbells over the thighs. Hold them in place with the fingers. Calf raise here. Nice and easy. Little bit of a break for those arms because we have another arm exercise after this one. Switched up. Give them a chance to breathe. Great job. Here we go, we've got a few more. If those feet make their way out further away from me, you can tuck them back under. Last two, last one. Bring it on down. Take a little bit of a forward lean here. We're going to pull those weights up and back, keeping the shoulders out of the ears. If you need to, you can alternate this one at a time. Try to avoid a lot of twisting through your torso. So one at a time or both. Great job here, smooth and steady, focus on working. From those back muscles, bring the shoulder blade in, squeeze it towards the middle of the spine, release, nice and easy, again, not working from the low back. All right, three more here. Last one, beautiful. Take that right dumbbell to the right leg and get yourself in a position. You're gonna get that heel on the floor. You can have the leg straighter or more bent. You have the band if you are working with that, which is gonna give you plenty of work here. Left hand goes down to the side. We're going to turn the dumbbell forward. Hammer curl here. Little bit more of a straight leg pushing against the band. You have this right dumbbell just holding it in place, carrying that leg. Little extra weight to move. Smooth and steady. Two, last one, bring it back forward, bring that right leg on in, let's pull it on up. Both hands or one at a time, up to you. Think about the crown of the head, really tall stretching the spine up so we're not compressing anything back there, especially the low back or the hips. more to go here. You're doing great. If they get tired, alternate. Take a little bit of break in between each arm. Good. Last three here. If you're alternating, give me four or even out your sets. 
beautiful this time left dumbbell will go to the top of the leg right hand will come forward edge of the dumbbell is going to be facing forward so we're taking a hammer curl for the bicep giving it a little bit of variety stretch that left leg out you're going to curl and move that left leg out to the side drag the heel across the floor or you can lift a tiny bit We're gonna take two more here. Sorry, three more, two more after this one. Got confusing there for a second. Last one here. Bring it on in. If you are working with a band, take it from above the knees, down over the lower leg, below the knees. So not just the kneecap, but below the whole knee joint itself. So a few inches down. Step it on out. All right, here we go. We're gonna lean forward. We're gonna pull those elbows up. Press those weights back. I always like to give you guys a sideways view on this one, straight arm. You don't need to flick the wrist. You don't need to strain for extra movement. Just keep that shoulder back there. Straight and in. Moving here together. Core muscles engaged, so we're not using the low back to support us here. Front of the body. Beautiful job here. Shoulders out of the ears, neck tall. If anything, tuck the chin, slide the head back just a little bit. Last three. And last one. Take those hands to the tops of the thighs. We'll give them just a little bit of a break. Come to the balls of the toes, the insides of the feet. Squish together, push that band apart here and squeeze the tushy up underneath you as you push out, release slow. Good, a little bit harder to get some of that sitting area, those muscles to work in a seated position. That doesn't mean impossible. Engage them here, let them work. more here back in set them down hands come to the sides left arm can bend up I'll show you guys two options so little bit less challenging here side bent to the right and lift if you would like a little bit extra work leave it up and a bonus shoulder work there that's up to you Depends on how those shoulders feel right now. Maybe you do a few of each. Take your time with this. Great job here. Last three. Last one. Bring it on in. 
lower that left arm, give it a little shake. If it needs it, send those feet in, lean it forward, pull those elbows up again. Work from the back of those arms, tricep kick back here. Three more. Last one. Great job, make sure that guy was on. All right, here we go, bring those feet together again. Butterfly legs here, press it apart. Squeeze the booty up underneath you as you push out. Last two here, last one. Set those feet, good foundation there. Option to just move to the left side or include the right arm up, little bit of shoulder work there. Same core work either way. Two more here. Last one. Great job, bring it on down. Give that one a little bit of a shake if it needs it. All right, here we go. We'll start with the legs this time. Set that left leg back and you can move this band down just a little bit lower. That makes life a little easier here. Extend the right leg, bring it back in. Flex those toes up. Hands can rest on the lap or down to the sides. Feel this muscle working here in the thigh. Don't be real hard and sharp in the knee. Let it stay a little soft. Great job here. Take three more. Three, ease that one on in. Take these weights straight up, bend them back and press. If you would like, you can keep them. Elbows a little more forward. Watch out for the back of the neck, forward the shoulders. You can even push the weights together if that's easier. Find what works for you here. Just Feel the back of this arm working. Good. Now, you don't want to open up the rib cage really wide, compressing into the low back. Keep it pulled in so ribs stay in between the chest and the hips here. Three more here. Last one, bring it on down, great job. Step the right foot back, extend the left leg. Feel this thigh muscle working. Little bit of extension into the knee, but it shouldn't hurt. You can keep a little soft bend in the knee 
if that's better for you. Just work on engaging this muscle without irritating the knees. Three more to go here. And three, beautiful job. Bring those hands back and same thing here. Wherever you found to be the most comfortable the first round, go ahead, go back to that. Last one here, bring it forward and down. Great job. All right, you can take, well, hold on to this one dumbbell. We'll alternate here. So we're gonna step back with the right leg, punch up and over with the left. Focus on finding work for the core, so keep it slow here. Good, give those legs a chance to work. Especially if you have the band. Good. Give me an exhale on the punch. Really feel those abs kick in there. Legs are working. We'll do this one one time, and then we'll go to an ankle and foot exercise. We'll complete that one time, and then we'll stretch out and you will be on your way. Reminder that if you haven't subscribed, of course, click that button before you head out today. So you can meet me back here for the next workout. I know not everybody hangs around for the stretches, even though it's a really good idea that you do. Sometimes we're busy. All right, last set here. If you have those hand weights, go ahead, set them underneath the chair. Sneaky little leg work there, that caught up nice and quick. Send that band around the ankles, and it's okay if it's over the sides of the shoes. Turn those toes in, lift the heels, pressing the ball of the feet to the floor, pushing against the sides of that band. Good. And we're working on, to be specific, tibialis posterior here, which wraps around, and it comes on down into the arch of the foot. So if we can get that muscle nice and strong, we have a little more foot strength, keeps us a little more stable, a little less foot and ankle pain. That's always a good thing. Nice little stretch here for the fronts of the ankles. A few more here. This one's tough, especially with the band on. Good, if it moves on you, you can just readjust it into place. We don't want any sort of irritation here. Three more, and then we're all done. Last one here. Bring it on in, step out of that band, and same thing here, you can put it to the back of the chair or underneath. Don't leave any tripping hazards for yourself, put it all away. Let's go ahead here, inhale, take those arms all the way up. Exhale, send it to the right, to the center, exhale. To the left all the way up open those arms back down behind you open them up stretch them out to the front arch the back roll it on up flip those hands over fingertips down roll it the other way open it up drop them down great job there wiggle it all out move through that upper body lean on back 
point the right toes forward, lift that leg, flex it all the way up, and point, and flex. Send that leg on out, set it down, stretch that left leg out, nice and easy, tilt from side to side, and then maybe swing here through the center, feeling an inner thigh stretch, most likely on this left side. Bring it on in. Left leg lifts, point and flex. Beautiful job here today. You've done something really good for yourself. Send that leg on out. Roll side to side here. See if you can find a stretch for that right leg. You can get a wider step if you're not quite finding it. Whew. Bring it back in. Send those feet down nice and easy. Wiggle loose into the upper body. Wiggle loose through the lower body. Quick cool down here today if you need a little more stretching. There are some quick yoga workouts, seated, standing, your choice for any body part. You can find those in that yoga playlist or you can just search yoga on this channel and they will come right up. If you need a little more stretching, if you are all set, your body feels good, you've had a great workout, then you are off to enjoy your day. Thank you so much for joining me for this workout. I will meet you back here for the next one. Keep taking good care of yourselves, and as always, thank you so much for watching.